Hey, today I'm on board the Solus 41 CS. This is probably the most innovative center console on the water, built by one of the greatest innovators in the marine industry, Stephen Darty. This is his third company that he started and innovated, so clearly the guy's got some engineering chops going on. There is so much automation on this boat, you won't believe it. Skyhook from the Mercury Motors, an electrically actuated windshield, a deck that raises up on electric shocks so that you can have exactly the eye clearance you need. And there's more luxury on board this than your favorite hotel. I wanna walk you through this boat right now, so come on aboard. I'm Randy Vance. Now, when we pushed the throttles forward on this, we broke 70 miles an hour. Our most economical cruise speed was about 44 and gave us a range of 600 miles. What I really liked about this is the torque of those engines and the way it gets this 41 foot by 12 and a half foot boat up on plane in six seconds, and it makes 30 in just under nine seconds. The 41 CS has extra wide chines and that assists in the stability and it knocks down spray. We're equipped with a gyro here that keeps the boat stable and seas, whether you're anchored up over a fishing spot or trolling. I like the fact that the boat's equipped with a gen set. That helps power the air conditioning on board here at the helm. You've got six vents here so that you can blow the cold air right over your crew and keep everybody comfortable. Or on a nicer day, raise the windshield at the touch of a button or lower it if it's a little bit snotty out. Now the helm station is set up for optimum control and it keeps the captain in the center of the social activity. Centered like this, you have a passenger on either side. I love the binnacles right here and Mercury's telltale neutral indicator right on top that makes it easy to tell if you are in neutral. Neutral is also indicated on the joystick. The extra wide helm accommodates two 22 inch garments. You've got a vessel view gauge in the middle and you've got a fusion stereo. Now this entire boat is on digital switching, which is accessed through the Garmin. There's another nice touch here too. The deck raises under the helm up to six inches, giving a smaller driver a better view over the bow. You've even got a large glove box on either side of the helm for storing phones and wallets. Now the 41 is built to be a seafaring boat and to be able to accommodate any kind of conditions. What lends itself to that is the design of this hardtop. The structure is all carbon fiber, so is the top. It's integrated together. There's no stanchions holding anything up. It's solid as can be. Add to that the tempered glass, and you've got a really nice, comfortable, and protective helm. Now, Solus Custom builds these seats for this boat, and there's some really great features on board that aren't too obvious. Obvious are the flip-up bolsters and the fold-down armrests, but here's something you don't see everywhere slide that back and you've got controls for your navigation system and your autopilot right here at your fingertips. Now the 41 CS is over 20,000 pounds and it's designed to handle anything the seas can throw at it, but it's also designed to make its passengers extremely comfortable. That's why I like these shocks pedestals underneath the helm seat. They give with the seas. Now I really like the mezzanine seating here. You can see it's extremely wide, ready for three or four people. You've got this fold down footrest. But when you're fishing, you can easily remove the cushions because they're magnetically attached. Once you do, you've got a big rigging station. Lift the hatch, and underneath you'll find a sink at the center, bait rigging on the port side, and you've got an electric grill on the right. Now to keep the crew informed of where the boat is and what the fishing conditions are, you've got repeater displays up above to show your navigation information. You'll also notice that you've got stereo speakers here to keep the tunes flowing. Underneath, you've got two large storage drawers. You've got hanging rod racks underneath both the gunnels and plenty of rocket launchers in the hard top. Now the cockpit is expansive and ready for your fishing action. You've got these seats right here on the transom with the backrest, the rocket launchers, the fold down armrests, and you pull out this seat and it can either be another seat for three more people or a footrest for the people in the higher seats. On either side, you've got large live wells with glass fronts so that you can keep an eye on your bait. Now we're just scratching the surface of this area. Look at this. I like the fact that the cutting board is magnetically attached. It can go on either side. Lift this up and you've got a large ice box. Now this can be equipped with an ice maker that'll make 525 pounds of ice a day. 
so you won't be buying ice in the Bahamas. These stainless steel trays will keep things dry or keep your bait fresh. And you've got plenty of capacity here for keeping drinks cold if that's the way you choose to use it. Now, I don't want to leave the cockpit before we talk about the dive door. Swing it open. You've got heavy duty hinges and latches. Then lift this hatch and pull the ladder out. You can see the ladder is designed unusually. What it does, it gives you a nice angular step, almost like stairs, to ease climbing back aboard. Swing that handrail around and you've got a little extra stability coming in. Now I like the wide walkways between the helm and the gunnels. Right here you've got a large storage compartment for six tuna sticks. I love the way it folds out here. Dry storage here, this is kind of cool, a magnetic latch that opens the hatch for you to throw away your trash. In addition to all the dry storage and coolers on deck, you'll find enormous fish lockers in the floor on the port and starboard side. They're macerated to pump overboard. This is where the magic is though. Look at all the comfort up here. You've got a three wide lounge here with a pull out armrest that's got cup holders in it. You've got two frigid rigid coolers here that form forward lounges and an easy step to the foredeck to make it easy to access that for casting a net or to work with your windlass. Underneath those hatches, you've got storage for lines. While we're talking frigid rigid, you need to take a look at the two coolers that are in the rigging station in the leaning post. There's cold drink capacity everywhere, and here's a cool touch. You got magnetic drink holders on board, and that's just one example of the many cool innovations we've seen. Take a look at the stereo speakers. They're tucked back into pockets in the combings so you won't stumble onto them, hurt yourself, or hurt them. And your fresh water intake is in this hatch up here in the bow. You've got storage there for your fenders as well. Now, when we're talking about innovations, take a look at the way this door works to the cabin below. These hinges, like much of the hardware on this boat, are made right in the factory. They're designed to give you clear access around the door when it's open. It's only two steps to the sole below. Why don't you come down with me and let's take a look around. Now you've got seven feet of headroom, which makes it really convenient to enter the place. And there's a lot of space. You got facing lounges here, which convert to a double berth and a large flat screen TV. Tuck your remote controls into that compartment. Got a microwave up above. Now this is cool. You've got an ice bucket here. You can access it here to remove it. And down below, you've got holders for wine and cocktail bottles. You've got a large entryway to the head compartment and seven feet of headroom there. You've got a rain shower up above, a toilet and a fresh water sink. When you go to take a shower, there's plenty of hot water and it's piped to the deck showers as well. Now in any boat, the devil is in the details, but they're too numerous here for me to get into them all. What you will find is that you've got hookups for electric reels. You've got a reverso flushing outlet for your motor so that it goes from first motor through the fourth motor, flushing each in turn. You've got easy access to the quick gyro below and the gen set that runs it. Raw water connections are easy to access and you have hot water at your rigging station behind the helm. The connections on the hard top hold the stanchions that spread a rear shade over the aft cockpit. It raises up so that you can have more headroom if you need it. As you can see, the 41 CS has all the creature comforts you need on board to keep your crew and family happy and enjoying the water. It's ready to fish, it's ready to dive, and it's ready to explore the world with some of the best performance we've found on a 41 center console. That's thanks to Mercury outboard power, their V10's 1600 horsepower. This boat is priced right in the marketplace, in my opinion, and you should take a look at it. I'm Randy Vance on the Solus 41CS.